got a new load. And as I thought, I'm heading down to uh, Pueblo, which is about 120 miles away. So two hours on the road just to get there. This load is going back to uh, Raleigh, North Carolina. So we only got a quarter tank of uh, fuel. So the very first thing we're going to do is put some, we're going to fill these tanks up. Then we're going to make our way down to uh, Pueblo, get checked in. Hopefully it does not take them as long as it took the last time that I took a load from, from Pueblo to Miami. That just took way too long. So we're going to Raleigh, North Carolina, which is good. Almost set, to be honest, set about a, almost eighteen hundred miles total for this run. You know the Deadhead Plus, blah blah blah. It is now what a time is it? It's just noon right now. Let's get down there at two o'clock. Depending on when they get us loaded, how fast that takes. Either we're just getting back to the Loves there in Pueblo, or we're getting a little further down the road. So we're done fueling. This is the yellow line. This is where you pull up to. For all those drivers who don't understand that, who've been doing this for umpteen years, when you're done fueling, pull up to the yellow line. Go in and get your receipt, come back out, and pull out. If you gotta go to the bathroom, if you gotta get yourself something to eat, you gotta sit there shooting the breeze or transflow or anything, go get a parking spot. It takes it takes a couple extra moments, but you're not pissing everybody else off. So we're gonna go in here, get our receipt, and we're rolling. Thank you, sir. One of the best reasons to like Pilot Flying J. Receipt. So now we're back out. That's as long as it should take you inside. Now it, I got a truck that came in behind me. So now I'm gonna get the hell out the way so they're not being, you know, delayed. And what are you doing, Stevens? Effing up, that's what you're doing. Ah, oh, boy, I tell people make it more difficult than it needs to be. I was in for another DOT inspection. <laughs> ah, Colorado State Trooper pulled out just as I was about to pass him. He went ahead and got behind me. Even though he had a clear lane to the right, or He rode behind me for a little bit, then got on my side. Now he's past me, so I don't, I don't know what he's doing. But 
I thought I was going to get pulled over for my fifth DOT inspection. Ah, boy. As long as he picks on somebody else, I'll be okay. Yeah, so here's one of those things I was worried about on the way down. Nobody talking on the CB. We got this uh, heavy brake check. Get into being a stop and go. And nobody's saying why. this other gentleman who was here before me so we're gonna go here into shipping get our information our paperwork blah 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 Try to be out of the way. Alright, we're gonna go in. Alright, here's our load. Same thing we had the last time we were here. We got three water chiller refrigerant type compressor units or two. And we got a big uh condition condenser conditioner, whatever they want to call it. You know, air mover, filtration, doohickey. So basically the full length of the truck. 
same as last time. 